And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. You can beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President, I'm better. You are a hell of a better. U.S. President Joe Biden has mixed up Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky with Russian President Vladimir Putin in an embarrassing blunder that will add to the scrutiny over Biden's mental state. The gaffe occurred in Washington, as Biden was hosting the launch of the so-called Ukraine Compact, an initiative aimed at concluding bilateral security agreements with Kiev. Flanked by NATO and EU leaders, the U.S. president delivered a short speech and was about to hand over the podium to Zelensky. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine who has as much courage as he has determination, Biden said while inviting Zelensky to speak. But instead of introducing him by name, Biden unexpectedly told the audience, ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. Apparently realizing his mistake, Biden returned to the podium and corrected himself, saying, President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we have to worry about it. Anyway. Mr. President. Zelensky interjected with, I'm better, to which Biden replied, you are a hell of a lot better. During a press conference later that evening, Biden mixed up his vice president, Kamala Harris, with his 2024 election rival and Republican frontrunner, former President Donald Trump. Look I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be vice president if she was not qualified to be president, he told reporters. I commend all the nations that stepped up when it counted to stand with Ukraine. I've said before, Russia will not prevail in this war. Ukraine will prevail in this war and we'll stand with them every single step of the way. That's what the compact says, loudly and clearly. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. You can beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President. I'm better. You are a hell of a lot better. Poland may transfer several MiG-29s to Ukraine. This will expand the fleet of Ukrainian fighters. Poland may donate its remaining MiG-29 fighters to Ukraine, potentially returning the Ukrainian Air Force fleet to full strength. As Forbes writes, fighter jets are not the most pressing need of the Ukrainian Air Force. The Air Force most needs air defense capabilities to protect the existing fighters on the ground. Adding aircraft without adding air defense capabilities could result in the aircraft being disabled before they can even fly a single combat sortie. The publication writes, Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk has said he would hand over the MiGs, of which there are about 15, if NATO allies deploy the jets to patrol the country's airspace. This is not a problem for the alliance. The publication noted that the Poles will send MiGs to the Ukrainians since the need for this is obvious. It is unclear how many MiGs the Ukrainians have left. At the start of the war, there were about 50, but, as the publication noted, Ukraine lost at least 28 MiG-29s during the war, which was confirmed by analysts. In total, Poland and Slovakia provided 27 MiGs as replacements, but some of them were unsuitable for flight and were used only as spare parts. A dozen or more additional Polish MiG-29s would restore, if not expand, the Ukrainian Air Force's MiG fleet and buy time for the Air Force as new F-16s and Mirage 2000s trickle in over the coming year or so. The first few F-16s are due to arrive in Ukraine any day now, but there's some risk any fresh ex-Polish MiGs would never even get off the ground. Taking advantage of gaps in Ukrainian air defenses, the Russians have been flying more drones over Ukrainian airfields and striking the airfields with Iskander missiles. And that's why Ukraine needs extra air defense more than it needs extra fighters. 